So along with all the players we got in packs and the SBC in Kunku, we were also given a rule breakers objective in the form of Mikhail Antonio. And to get this guy, you have got to play 11 games in foot friendlies. And in that time, score three headers, assist four goals with players with at least 75 physical, and on top of that, win four of the games by two goals. It's not too difficult. But Twitter's saying this objective is pretty toxic at the moment. Now, I actually don't know about that because my friend Dean actually unlocked this card for me. So, thank you to him. If you could leave a like rating on the video, that would be very much appreciated. And comment below your thoughts on this objective player and the difficulty you have had unlocking him if you are attempting to do so. Anyway, let's accept all this and let's get the guy in at the club. And let's give him a go because it looks like a pretty good card on paper. Or at least good for an 84 overall anyway. If you need some coins to improve your team, look no further than IG Vault for the cheapest coins on the market and don't forget to use the code Kieran to get yourself a discount at the checkout. There's a chance to win some free coins just by clicking the link in the description too. Now obviously one thing that's interesting about this card straight away even without looking at the stats is the fact that he is actually a nation change card. Um, his non inform in FIFA is English, this special item is obviously Jamaican so uh, obviously uh, does lose all of his English links, but he does actually gain a very nice green link to players like Leon Bailey. So uh, if his one to watch gets boosted, that could become obviously a very good link for this item. Anyway, uh, in comparison to the non-informed card, um, he's been given a plus four in pace, which is very nice. A big plus 12 in shooting, which is great. His passing has also gone up by five. Dribbling has gone up by five. Defending up by three. But uh, sadly, the physicals have been downgraded by four. But... um does certainly look like a much better card. Obviously, uh, the freestyle weak foot isn't ideal, but not the end of the world. And uh, in regards to traits, he's actually got quite a bunch, so uh, that's quite nice. In-game stats, though, is where we want to look, and instantly I'm seeing some positives and instantly an issue as well. 91 finishing, fantastic. 74 composure, not so great. Other standout attributes on this card do include the 90 sprint speed, the 93 attack positioning, 91 shot power, and um, that's probably it for like the premium stats. I suppose 89 heading accuracy is also worth mentioning. 84 heading combined with being 5 foot 10 hopefully does win a decent amount of headers. All in all, I think, aside from the composure, it does look like a very good striker option, but I am very worried about that composure rating because if the opposition puts a lot of pressure on this card, I'm presuming he's going to be nowhere near effective. So uh, let's just get in some games and let's see how we get on, shall we? Let's go ahead and do that. This is the team we're going to be using him in up. Hopefully we'll do a really good job for us. Um, ignore the ridiculous team. It's not mine, unfortunately. As I say, we're on my friend Dean's account. So once again, thank you to him. My club honestly looks nothing like this. He has a ridiculous amount of coins and uh, a ridiculous team too. Just before we get into a match, we do have to decide on a chem style for this guy. And I think the shooting is good enough, so I think we're going to go engine, give him a nice pace boost, make his dribbling even better, and I'll also improve on his passing as well. And it just makes him look like a better forward in general as well. Also brings him up to be an 89 rated striker in game, which is very, very nice. It's just a shame we can't do anything about that composure because I just know it's going to be an issue, especially with that freestyle weak foot. He's just going to feel limited in attacking situations. We eventually find ourselves an opponent, and our opponent has a team which looks like this, which is pretty terrifying. I absolutely hate playing up against Inform Vinicius Jr., and I hate it because when I used him, he wasn't that good. But when I come up against him, people do some serious work against me with him. Mendy, puts the ball through for Antonio, who's in some space here. Can we cut back? We can. Can we get a shot away? We can, but sadly it's blocked. Good run. Gets in behind his man there, but just... Then gets knocked off by him. I see that run. We'll go for that long ball over the top. We will find Antonio with the said long ball. We'll go for the strike and we'll put the ball in the back of the net to open the scoring. Lovely start. Interesting battle here. Antonio's nabbed the ball. Puts it on the inside for Bruno who makes it two just like that. So, not a bad little outing for Antonio on debut, a goal and a assist. Say we're playing in, you know, the elite divisions, I think he did quite well on his opening performance. Okay, this time we face the brand new Rule Breakers Nkunku and also the Arby as well. So, a uh, couple of Rule Breakers in action in this one. Pop over good early tackle, balls into Antonio here on the edge of the box. Oh, the control wasn't the best, but we're still just coming away with the ball, but eventually... We do lose it. Oh, just that first touch a bit heavy and we almost wrestled it back. 
Now Antonio, a bit of space gets the shot away and I mistimed it. Just, you know, just a tad. Chance. Antonio. Oh, great ball. Oh, no, it's not a great ball because he's just offside. Okay, unfortunately, 1-0 down at the break and it doesn't quite feel deserved, so hopefully we can pull it back. Nice. Gets around his man. Here is an opportunity now. No one really in the box that's aerially great, but we do get a corner. Oh, once again, bit heavy. Bit heavy. Nice. Good bit of hold up play. Puts through Neymar, who equalises. Love to see it. Oh, look at that. 2 1. Very fortunate bounce. There is one last chance in this game. Antonio's through. Can he get the ball across the box? You bet he can, and we've won it. We've won it just like that through some brilliant play from Antonio, who sets up Mbappe to score the winner. Ah, oh, great way to win the game. Great way to win the game with the man of the video helping us get the win. Happy days. Great assist. I've got to be honest, it wasn't the most incredible performance from Antonio. Um, definitely missed some key chances and also ball control didn't feel amazing. But when we needed him most, he turned up. So, um, kind of pleased. Into game number four we go and we are up against Ronaldo, Frankie de Jong and also that typical PSG back line. That's what we want to see from them set pieces. Nice, good touch this time. Pass Kimpembe will go for the chip early and it just creeps in. Another wonderful start to this, to another game. Okay, a bit of a hit and hope here, but it might actually pay off for us. Antonio, oh, unlucky. He's really well to battle with his man there, unfortunate. Yeah, an interesting chance. So Bamiang has put Antonio through. Gone for the early chip. Oh, what a weird animation that was. Well, at the break, sadly, we are 2-1 down, and it's one of them games that literally could end any score. It really, really could. My opposition's good, so I've got to give him credit there, but it truly is one of them games that really, really could end in any kind of score. And we might be able to nab it, he might batter us, we'll just have to see what happens. We're going to put Antonio on the wing for the remainder of this game. I don't know why, I've just got a feeling like he could do a good job in that role. Antonio, chance to dink the ball into the box. It's a good ball as well, isn't it? Evades nearly everyone. Pogba. Into Antonio. Oh, we beat one, but just couldn't beat the other. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, what an equaliser. Love to see that. Here's a chance now. Ronaldo goes for the back stick. There's Antonio. Oh, he's got to score that. We have to score that. Okay, so unfortunately didn't get the win in that one, but I thought Antonio did rather well, obviously getting himself a goal and... Uh, Oh, two goals, in fact. So, uh, pretty good outing from him. Just uh, wish we could have got the win in that one because it, I just felt like we could have got it. It was one of them games, but to be honest, it could have gone either way. But you just hate losing them ones, don't you? So, a few games out the way with this Antonio. And he ends with a record of four games, three goals, and three assists. Which, to be fair, is a pretty good return. Especially for a free card. I feel like he's done, you know, rather well. But I will say this. In some games, felt very effective. In others, not so much. I feel like he's a player that just is easy to defend against just because of that composure. And I know I said that that would be an issue at the start. And it just is. It's an obvious one. Like, when this guy is in space, he feels pretty good. And he can actually finish very, very nicely. But when under pressure, his output just isn't quite as good. And the same goes for his dribbling, to be honest. When this guy's going, like, in a straight line, when he's running in a linear fashion... He can be like an absolute monster. He's got the pace, the strength to hold off would-be defenders. But as soon as you try and, you know, dribble around, that's where this guy is going to feel a little bit unstuck, which is uh, obviously quite unfortunate. So if you come for into this guy, just put, you know, adequate pressure on him and uh, he probably won't be able to do too much unless you're up against a really good player who uh, probably would be able to take advantage. Um, anyway, what is it to like about this card? Um, I like the pace. He felt quick in game, which was nice. And I also liked his physicals because he didn't just have the pace to beat people. He also had the strength to beat them as well and the ability to hold them off also, which was nice. Also thought his aerial ability was decent too. It's just a bit of a shame he didn't score that header in that final game. That would have been an excellent way to uh, end the gameplay. Um, passing felt all right as well. I actually feel like this guy, depending on your play style, he actually could be a decent running cam in like a 4-2-3-1, so something to consider there. I also think he can do a really nice job 
out wide. I actually really liked him coming off the wing because his crossing felt good, his passing felt good enough for that wide role, and uh, also you could cut inside and go for the power shot if you wanted to. I think one of the best things about this card for me personally was the positioning. I thought his run making was class, and uh, I think you'll see that in the footage. He got onto the end of many through balls, which was fantastic, and ultimately, that for me is the standout about this card. If you're good at through balls, give this guy a go because he will get on the end of them, which is obviously a huge positive. So, all in all, a good card, and I think it's worth the unlock. Would I use it in my weekend league team? No, that composure would just annoy me a bit too much. Is he like, you know, a premium striker option? He's not, but he's a good one, and he's a pretty fun card as well. So, as I say, I do recommend the unlock, and uh, I do think he'll do a good job in, like, rivals and objectives, but I just... I don't think he's a foot champs card. I really, really do. Especially if you're aiming for, you know, the higher tiers. But still, fun item. And uh, like I've said numerous times, I do believe he is worth the unlock. So uh, if you do unlock him, let me know in the comments below how you do get on with this card. But uh, unfortunately, it's one of them items where what you see is what you get in regards to the in-game stats. Where you can literally see the glaring issues with the card. And like I've already addressed, that is, of course, the composure. Also, his ball control wasn't particularly amazing either. That sometimes, like him down but um yeah obviously the card does have limiting factors if he was good in every areas he, if he was good in every area sorry he obviously wouldn't be an objective but like i've said numerous times fun card where do you unlock in my opinion let me know how you get on in the comment section down below as per usual if you could leave a like right another video that would be very much appreciated in the middle you can click the playlist uh, for player reviews to see more of them on the right check out some player rankings and over on the left see who is in the latest team of the week thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one